September 2015, post-secondary students have made their way back to campus and are scurrying to get to class. September 2015, only one month until we head to the polls to elect our 23rd Prime Minister of Canada. Today we're here on the campus of Ryerson University in downtown Toronto to get a millennial perspective on what truly matters at this fall's election. And here, more than anywhere else, every vote counts. Here at Ryerson, and what, what program are you in? Psychology. And? Criminology. Oh my goodness, I already feel analyzed by both of you here while doing this interview. Um, are you aware what's happening in Canada on October the 19th? No. Are you girls aware of what's coming up in October? No. no. Do you know what's coming up on October 19th? No, I don't. Are you aware that there is a Canadian federal election coming up this fall? Yes. 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 You know what day it is? Uh, October, October 19th. 19th. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> congratulations already because I think you're the first ones who actually knew that. Now, since you're students, I want to know the, with the upcoming election, what are the issues that are going to sway your vote? I want a good education system that can support the children. I want a good education system for Stephen yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> well look and how, which kid? Good example of how bad this education system is. I'd say uh, a very big issue is. Um, just tuition increases as a whole. Uh, education needs to be free and accessible for everybody. Free? Oh, accessible at accessible. least. Accessible? Yeah. To people who would show up and look like you. <laughs> Apparently. What are the issues that are important to you? Um, well, I'm a, a trade student, so definitely the Ontario College of Trades. We don't like that. That's sort of a cash grab. The Liberals, like I feel, are doing the wrong right now, but the Conservatives are also, so we're sort of stuck in a catch-22. What issue would sway your vote? Um, that's hard. I don't know. Uh, equality? In, G in regards to? In regards to everything. <laughs> equality in regards to everything. Yep. That's a great platform. What sways the vote of a student? What are the issues? I think it's like our rights and stuff, and like also like a lot of the students over here, like we, for I, like I feel like since we're just getting into school and we have a lot of like like tuition to pay and everything like that, so I feel like getting our tax like our taxes would affect us a lot too, right? You want lower taxes because you're in school, but what happens when you're out of school? Then what? What's the big issue that the candidates are talking about that you're talking about? Um, like marijuana legalization. <laughs> yeah. As in you don't want that to happen. And I do. I think Trudeau be... all the way. Which candidate do you think will bring that change for you? Oh, I forgot what that guy's name is. What's the black hair? Yeah. I forgot what his name is. Justin Trudeau, is that who you think? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, are you a liberal? I think so, yes. You think so? <laughs> well, like, the other parties don't get as much attention, I guess. So you just want, it's a popularity contest for you. I just don't want conservative. Steven thinks you're you're in love with Justin Trudeau. Do you, are you have a little crush on him? Unfortunately not. Well, what about you? Who do you think? Justin Trudeau, man. He's got, he's going to do it. I think you have a crush on Justin Trudeau. <laughs> you caught me, you know. <laughs> Who do you think will be the prime minister after the fall election? Stephen Harper. He's going to stay in office? I think so. And you think that that will help the tuition increases? No. Do you know the party leaders? Uh, there's Justin Trudeau, and I only know like about Stephen Harper. I only know the two main ones. Justin Trudeau, Stephen Harper. Do you know the NDP leader? No. no. <laughs> Which candidate do you think will be pushing that platform of equality to everyone? I'm just realizing that this interview is a very bad idea because I don't I don't know much about politics. So who do you think will represent you the best? None of them. None of them? None of them. So who are you going to vote for? Um, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to vote this year. You're not going to vote, but you have to. Your vote counts. Every vote counts. There's no candidate I find um, that deserves my vote. Elizabeth May? No, none of them. Moncare? Trudeau? No, definitely not Trudeau. I don't like him. I don't think many people. Harper? Harper, maybe, but still, he's. They all, they've all done wrong. That's why I don't really like to vote, because I don't like to... Feed their um, their cash grab, I guess you could say. What aspects of their campaign would resonate with you? S stuff that has an effect on me. Like? So stuff with the universities, stuff with healthcare, things that would matter to me now 
that have an influence on my life would ha resonate with me the most. Right. We don't need to be concerned about the future. As long as now happens, right. we're good. Yes. Right? Yeah. Well, it doesn't take a genius to realize that tuition is on the minds of these students. Yes, Matthew, the here and now is of the utmost importance. After all, why think about tomorrow when we have today? For The Rebel, I'm Matt Phillips. And I'm Jason Agnew. And remember, every, every vote counts. counts.